What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. I was walking around Target looking for Barbie stuff when I saw this. MGA's miniverse, Mini Little Tykes, Series 3? Are you telling me I missed Series 2? This was about $10. It was $9.99. There are two minis inside, including a display stand and 18 different minis to collect. For me, these are pretty much dolls for dolls or toys for dolls that we can use in our photography. Because I'm an adult doll collector and one of my favorite things to do is to take pictures of my dolls. Doing everyday responsible adult things like checking out what's in the toy aisle. Let's open this Series 3 capsule to see our first mini. The capsule is blue, it says little tykes, we can see clouds and planes and other decorations. The top and the bottom are flat. Let's open it. Inside, I can see our first mini, which looks like a castle. On the other side, we have some instructions telling us how to put the capsule display together. There are two bags that have the pieces to the display. Take one side and place the base in the bottom. Add the little platform. Use a small connector to attach the two sides of the capsule. Then add the last display stand to make the display. Personally, I would have loved to have seen squares or rectangles. That way we could make large shelving units for the dollhouse. I do understand that these weren't meant for our dollhouses, but I still would like it anyway. There's a collector's guide showing us all the minis we might find. Like a doll buggy, a tiny little doll crib, Tyke's Place, which looks like a little tiny dollhouse. I want that the most. And Party Kitchen. In this capsule, we got a castle. It's a box. But there is something inside. Let's open it and see what it is wrapped in tissue paper we have a tiny little castle with a slide we can see in the top and that tiny little door really opens loving all the details but this is super small our second mini is the alligator teeter-totter let's open it up and see our mini. This is seriously small. It's too small for a Chelsea doll to use as a teeter-totter, but maybe Chelsea's dolls could use it. And we can always place some of the boxes on the shelves in our miniature target. Let's clean off a few shelves, cut the logo off of the collector's guide. I added a little blue paper to contrast with the red. Place poster putty on the back, then attach it to the wall. So we have a display area for our minis. Now let's stock the shelves. Opening our second capsule, we got a miniature log cabin. Let's see it out of the box. I think it's small, just like the castle. Actually, the doorway is a tiny bit larger. Again, that little tiny door can move and there's a little counter inside that can move as well. It's like a little table right under the window. Can you see that? The other mini is the railroad ride-on. It is two pieces that fit together and it could be fun with Disney doorbells. Mm. Opening our third capsule. So far, I haven't found the minis that I'm looking for. Like Tyke's Place and Party Kitchen. Yeah, what are the chances of that? Honestly, though, that timing was kind of perfect. Oh, wow. I feel like we're getting a lot with the party kitchen. Here is the mini play kitchen. The side can flip up. This piece goes there. And we have like a little counter. So many little details. And we get some tiny accessories. Like that classic little tykes chair, which is not a bad size for Disney doorbells. Well, the kitchen might be a little tall, but I'd probably still do it. We got plates, a bowl, cups, 
that are seriously small, there is a tiny little picture. Oh my goodness. I need tweezers. And flowers in a vase. Can I do this without tweezers? No, I can't. There's a setting for two. You can see a little phone over there on the side. Why do I think this can open? Let's see, can it? Oh my goodness. And there's a rack inside. Okay, that's adorable. And there are pictures printed on the inside. Honestly, I think these minis are right up there with Remint. If the play kitchen looked like that, I am so excited to see Tyke's Place and check out the details oh i can already see some super small minis here's the house we can see stairs little plants you can look all inside of this little tiny house let's turn it around it looks finished on all the sides we have these tiny little pieces that look like a table and chair set for a little size comparison, let's bring in Mini Barbie Land. This is one of the lipstick fashionistas. I bought it at Walmart for $2.88. I was told there are codes. So here's the code. Now we can remove the top and twist to see our mini. If these are about an inch and a half, here's the Mini Barbie next to the Little Tyke's house. See, those chairs are super small. Next to the kitchen, it's a little large, but not too bad. I really hope I don't lose any of these pieces. Opening my fourth capsule, now we're just looking for the buggy and the doll bed. Ah, we got a garden tractor and a football toy chest. Here's the tractor with the cart. The cart can move and we can take it off. The steering wheel moves the front wheel and the wheels can spin. The football toy chest is pretty small and the top is removable. Here's the fifth capsule with another house and the party kitchen. So now we have two, also known as doubles. But that's okay, because we can totally use them to stock the shelves. Here is our last capsule from series three. We need the buggy and the crib. All right. And we have, ah, the log cabin again with the railroad ride on. So we got a set of doubles. Okay, I totally want to take a look at series two. So I did a little Amazon search and hello there. This is mini little tykes series two with 12 minis to collect. Oh, so series three is a larger collection but I'm hoping to find some items to put in our miniature playroom. Our first mini is a table and chair set. Is it going to be a good scale for some of the other minis? It does seem like scale is kind of all over the place. So here is the table and chairs. Those chairs seem like they're around the same size as the ones that came with the play kitchen. Let's check. Here's the kitchen and the chair. And here is the chair from series two. It's slightly smaller and it's kind of a different shade of yellow. We get two yellow chairs and a red and blue table with a sticker around the side. Totally not a bad size for mini Barbie land. And the other mini is a pull along xylophone. Please let this be a good size for a one six scale room. Scale has been all over the place, so I am very hopeful. And yeah, it's not too bad. Here it is next to a Chelsea doll for a little size comparison. I think it's a pretty good size and it comes with a stand that we can put together. Here's the collector's guide showing all 12 items in this collection. I would love to see the gym. So let's open one more. I'm really happy with the table and chair set. So if I get the other minis that I want and I only had to open two capsules, yeah. And this is, <laughs> it's the table and chair set again. Don't tell me this is the xylophone. <laughs> yes, it is. Are you telling me I got two series two capsules and they were doubles? That didn't count. I'm trying to show a collection 
So I'm opening another one because we need a little more variety. And we have a different one. We have a wheelbarrow and little handy worker. The wheelbarrow comes with a shovel and the little handy worker set comes with tools and other miniature supplies. Pretty cool little details here. They're all little separate pieces and they can be taken out. And this actually flips up. See, some of these minis are pretty detailed. I would say the house and the play kitchen are definitely my favorites. Scale is all over the place, but if you're looking for some bookcase clutter for like a dollhouse playroom, this could be an option. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Mini Little Tykes Series 2 and 3. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye. Oops. <laughs> no. Bye. <laughs>